so well good morning it is lovely to see you all on this fourth sunday of lent which is also a mothering sunday uh which isn't really about mothers is you're meant to be going back to your mother church and uh, joining the sunday service there so uh but as that's not possible you're very welcome here so let me share my screen um stuff Cheers. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And so we have our first hymn, which is, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. And if you don't want to do a karaoke version, do remember to mute yourself. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the for he has made me glad he has made me glad he has made me glad i will rejoice for he has made me glad he has made me glad he has made me glad i will rejoice for he has made me glad gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. For he has made me glad. My Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and in faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, to live in love and peace with all. And we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought, word and deed through negligence through weakness through our own deliberate fault we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name amen
Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let us pray. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow, we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so we come to our first reading, which is Psalm 127. And I'm hoping that's going to be Margaret. Yes. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labour in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. Lord. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives sleep to his beloved. Sons are indeed a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the sons of one's youth. And now a reading from Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we come to our next hymn. <laughs>
now have our gospel reading. Right, sorry about that. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus, where his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took him, her into his own home. This is the word of the Lord. Please God. So, where am I? There we go. Well, good morning. May I speak in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary is stood at the foot of the cross. Her heart feels as if a sword is piercing it. Next to her is the disciple who Jesus loved. His world is falling apart. The man he loves hangs in anguish. All he can do is watch. Jesus in physical torment from the nails through his hands and feet, each breath becoming harder and more painful. He watches the two people he loves the most, unable to comfort them in their grief. A hopeless situation, no options, no escapes. There is only one way this will end. He knows that death is a few breaths away. And in those final moments, Jesus unites Mary and the disciple together, inviting them into a close family relationship where they care for each other. The wish of a dying man is spoken. Woman, here is your son. Here is your mother. Today is a day where the role of mother is acknowledged and celebrated within our culture. For some, it will be a lovely day where cards are received and flowers given. For others, it will be a difficult day. Our gospel reading gives no indication of the relationship between the disciple and his mother. We do not know if she is alive, and neither do we know about his experience of being parented. Mary, however, did travel with Jesus and the disciples, and I do not think it's too much of a stretch to imagine that she became mother for the twelve. Someone who cared for their needs, provided a listening ear, a soothing touch, a smile. In that moment of pain, of chaos, of being totally helpless, caught in the despair, Jesus knows that Mary is a caregiver and the disciple, someone in need of care. But what has this to do with us? I think this image is both a promise and a hope. It is a promise that no matter what we are going through, especially when we are experiencing great pain and anguish, when we feel isolated and alone, when we are surrounded by death, as Christians, Jesus invites us to care for each other. He says to us, here is your mother. Here is your son. It is a hope that despite our own experience of being parented, we have an example through Mary, the mother of Jesus. 
that there are those within our church who would like nothing more than to be our mother, for us to be their child. I know for myself that there have been and still are many mothers in my life. Those who have taken me under their wing, given me comfort and assurance when my world is spinning. There have been times when I have been the caregiver for another. And each role brings its own reward, a warmth of being nurtured, a sense of value from caring for another. Who for you has been your mother figure? Who has been your carer in a time of need? Who have you been that carer for when someone you know has been in need? Today is a day to celebrate them, to remember them and to acknowledge them. It is a reminder of that commandment of Jesus to love one another. This Mothering Sunday, thank you for all the times when you have been a mother to someone in need. For the warmth of your touch. For the gentleness of your words. For noticing the needs of others. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, we remember that day when you entrusted your mother Mary to the disciple that you loved. We remember that day when you entrusted the disciple that you loved to Mary, your mother. We remember this day, all those who have been a mother to us. We thank you for their care, their nurturing and their love. We ask for your peace on painful memories of hurt, failure, loss and grief. In your holy name we ask. Amen. So let us say together our creed. We believe in God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we now come to a time of intercessions. Lord God, our Father, 
Hear us when we pray to you. Your son taught us how to pray, and so we bring our intercessions to you. We pray for our bishops and clergy and the whole church. Give them courage and direction at this time when many of us may have faltered in our faith. We pray that a new priest may soon be found for our five parishes. Someone who will be with us as our lives go back to normal, who will encourage and guide us to find your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask for your blessing on our Queen and all the royal family. Be with all those who are in authority, that they may work for the common good and maintain their independence in all that they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember this Sunday, Mary, the mother of Christ, and all mothers, grandmothers, and also our godparents, relations, and everyone who has shared our lives and given us their love and encouragement. We pray for women who have lost their children through stillbirth, miscarriage, or abortion and whose children, those whose children have died young. We pray for those who have wanted children but remain childless. May your loving spirit comfort them in their sorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we pray for our communities, our friends and families. The difficulties of the past months have helped to bring many of us closer to each other through letters, phone calls, and the internet. Help us to go forward in your name. As our separation from one another is nearly at an end, we remember those who have lost jobs and homes. With your loving support, may we continue to help them in whatever way you plan for us. We pray for those who are lonely or depressed, remembering that your son was alone and suffered in the wilderness, and through his faith, he has given us hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we pray for all teachers who have had such a difficult time teaching online, often unable to see their pupils. Now they're also having to listen and encourage children whose mental health has been affected by the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those people who are suffering through famine, deprivation, or the inhumanity of others, where the hope of a way out of the pandemic is distant. We pray for all aid workers who are trying to alleviate their hardship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we give thanks for our nurses, doctors, and other health workers. We pray for our hospices, our care homes, and for all carers. May your healing hands be on everyone who is suffering in mind, body, or spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we remember family and friends who have died. Be close, Lord, to the bereaved and give them your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our path, and a strength to our lives. Take us and teach us to love and serve in the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Above all, close yourselves with love. 
which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. The peace of the Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. you. So please do unmute yourselves and offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Peace with you. Peace be with you. Peace Shut us off again. Yeah. In a minute, Streak. Okay. So now we come to our Holy Eucharist. <laughs> the Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning. And formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin. Giving him to be born of a woman. And to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead. And exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, of angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave me thanks. He gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread, 
and this cup. We make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Except through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. So draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. And you might like to join me in this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tested your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work your praise and glory. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So in a minute, I'm going to give a blessing and uh, we're going to come to our final hymn. And uh, I'm expecting to see a lot of air tambourines and drums as we uh, we sing this final one. It's one of my favourite hymns. So go in the peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning god bless you i hope you have a lovely afternoon whatever you're doing but do please uh, stay and join us for a little bit of fellowship a bit of chat a bit of banter before you go off and do feel free to unmute yourselves and let me just stop recording before we start saying it.